Hi Libra, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. All right, it is December 2020 for my beautiful Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? Libra, this is what's happening. For December 2020, I've been informed by the universe, spirit, God, that we are only to focus on that with which we want. Putting all your energy and attention, heartfelt, to only that which you desire. Not even focusing, not giving any energy to that which you do not want. Only focus on that which you desire. That is the message from spirit. This is going to be a shorter, unless it gets, you know, really intense and we need to get clarifying cards. I have only needed to do that with one sign. It's okay if it happens, but I'm thinking we're getting pretty much clear, precise messages for all signs. Okay, let's get going. I love this. Yeah, right? Our happiness awaits. All right, let's get... I'm going to lay out the cards for the story to unfold. And then we can proceed to, um, you know, to see if we need to clarify. Okay? All right, you got an extra card here. Bottom of the deck, yes, new beginnings. New beginning, uh, a project that is going to be ready to be, the seed is being planted, will be launched, is happening, right? It could be a project that you have loved. It could be a new road that you're going on. Your card came out, by the way, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let's talk about these cards real quick. An ending to a toxic situation has come full circle. I, for some reason, guess what? I'm taking the cards as I read the storyline, as it unfolds. It did not happen. It, it happened in sequential order. With you guys, it is not sequential but it is balanced. <laughs> we are now balanced again because we have released completely. Now this is like, this is done. Done, sealed, delivered. Signed, sealed, and delivered for sure. We're done with those people, places, and things that brought us down, that didn't believe in us, they try to manipulate, manipulate us and maneuver their hand at control and try to keep us bound by that, which we were like not balanced about. We finally gained our balance from all of this. We now are ready for love. And guess what? We're stronger than ever in love, right? Now, an offering of love coming in, you're strong, you're balanced, and you're ready. You're ready for a new beginning. This new beginning, of course, don't forget, we have the love offer here. A new beginning with, whoa, who is this? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo comes up twice. With what? An offer. And it's solid. This is a solid offer. It's a pentacle. Someone's going to make a solid offer to the Libras. After going within and heartbreak that you have suffered from people who have tried to deceive and lie about 
right? What they can bring. Oh yeah, I will, I want a new beginning with you, but ooh, oops, there's three people in the situation. That's what ended. So that you could find your one. Look at that, all in five minutes. I'm not joking. A new beginning unfolds for you after someone had tried to wrap you into a situation where they were the snake. They were posing as a good guy or a good girl, but they were lying about what and how committed they were in wanting a new beginning with you. It was all a sham. That's what I just heard, and I never use that word. It was a sham, because three people are here, and someone wasn't willing to give up that third person. So they manipulated and tried to use your kindness within your heart to masterfully try to keep you stuck and bound to them. You love how that goes, right? This could be not only one person, but this could be a lot of people trying to keep you bound and tied up in fearing and telling you that, oh, well, you're never going to find anyone like me. And in fact, as universe so graciously says, wait a second, this situation had to happen so that we could gain our power back, so that we can be strong now, so that people can stop saying that we're what, bipolar? And I'm a Libra moon, so I'm going to say it like I see it. Not that I don't anyway, honestly, let's be honest. I just tell you like it is. So universe says it's time, Libra, for you to be empowered. Now you're balancing, you've balanced this out because it's over. You finally had the strength and courage to say when no is no is no. Now who's imbalanced and who's ready for love? All right, so now we have this coming in. We have a solid offer of the one and only coming in after someone went through a breakthrough of realizing that if they don't charge in and come to grab you, you're going to be taken. I better get to that Libra because I know that she is the one I want. After the tower, right? So we want passion. We want true love, soul counterpart love. We want financial abundance, but in the fact, uh, in the way, excuse me, in the way that it's going to come, will come naturally, not forced, not forced. Not someone who says, I love you and shows up with what? Three people? And didn't, didn't wanna give them up because they didn't see they didn't see the value that you bring to the table. They tried to lie them, their way into keeping you bound by connecting into your heart center so that you wouldn't budge, that you wouldn't go anywhere. Oh yeah, I promise we're gonna be together. Oh yeah, for sure. That had to end so that this can come. So now that ended the 
Worst is behind you, and Libra, the best is yet to come. And I am, I could not be more excited for all my beautiful Libra friends out there. Because I've been talking about this one true love coming in for a while. But you were patient, you've been patient, and it's coming. Now, when doesn't matter. Why? Because we trust. Do we not? We trust. The scales are being balanced. Universe has got everything under control here. <laughs> and if you needed the boot to give someone the boot, I mean, and I'm not trying to be mean about it, but Universe had to step in because this was getting real. It's hard for Libras not to feel this inner conflict. It's hard for us not to feel inner conflict when we do love so much and with our heart. We do. We take this shit for real. This is for real. It takes us a long time to gain a sense of balance again. And it takes a lot of strength and courage to say no when no is no. Because we love so wide. And then people take advantage. And they try to put you in a corner. They try to say, oh, it's not me, it's you. Oh yeah, it's not me, it's you. Something's wrong with you. You're not being truthful, you're not being honest, and you're not offering up all of what you say. You say you want a new beginning with me, but you keep disappointing me. Well, hello, you got three people here. Libra, that's what someone was trying to manipulate you into thinking it was your fault. It's no one's fault. People keep telling Libras, oh, you're so imbalanced. You don't know what you want. Heck yeah, we do. Heck yeah, we do. And when it comes, we know it, and we're the most, one of the most devoted signs. Because when we give love, we give it 150 plus to infinity beyond. And when this tower hit, this volcanic, vol Panic eruption happened that finally put an end to people, places, and things that tried to distract and manipulate and coerce the kindness. Are you kidding me right now? Universe said, oh, this is... This is not going to happen anymore. Libra needs to get the eck, eck out. I said eck. Get the F out because I keep this for kids. My channel is also for, all right. We're not going to need to say it, but we did. And we must thank universe for giving us the strength and the courage to finally close this chapter. And I'm not talking about one relationship. I'm talking about a group of people, places, and things over the course of what? Of how many years have you been dealing with this? I mean, be honest with yourself. I am. So we got the F out <laughs> and we're going, we're taking our balanced selves into 
what is rightfully something coming at us, to us and for us, right? Finally, balancing the scales. Universe said, we see what's going on, even though you don't, Libra. We see what's been happening. We see what's been going on behind the scenes. And we want to help you. And that's what spirit does. Spirit comes in. Because I think, honestly, and I'm going to say it, I feel that you guys were feeling really down in the dumps for others pointing the finger at you. When in actuality, the finger should be pointed at them. So, you finally find the courage to say, this is not about me. This is not about not what I am and not who I want. Because I now see the truth for what it is. I see your snake right here. And I know that now I deserve a new beginning. And that's exactly what you're getting. And I think that it took a while, and I'm going to say it, I am. It took at least six months and maybe even six to eight years. Because it takes forever for a Libra to release people, places, and things that they know are no longer serving their highest good. And people can say whatever they will about why that is. It's because we love so deeply, so intensely, and so loyal. We are loyal. And that's the beauty of a sun, moon, and rising sign. Can I tell you? Because if you don't know what other people have in their, in their sun, in their, I'm sorry, in their natal chart, you, you may not have, you may not have known that someone was trying to pull the wool over your eyes here. So it's really important to get every, if you can, know what you're dealing with, right? When we build something, when we're ready to build something or when we're ready to present something or when we're ready to receive something or we're going for a job, we're making a presentation, we need to launch something, we need to know our demographics, right? We need to know what we're talking about. Right? People think that we don't know because of such kindness that we have in our hearts. We do have the light within us. So when push comes to shove, if you know who you're dealing with, right? This is immaturity. This is someone who said, oh, it's not me, it's you. You're the one who's out there not happy with the cup that I'm offering you. You're the one that's not accepting. You're the one that's lying. You're the immature one. You're the one who has too many people options. They pointed the finger at you. But you already knew because you are and you have done your internal work. So you already had the truth of the situation. You were just wanting to see how it was gonna play out. And it played out of exactly as it was intended to. It ended exactly at the exact 
precise moment, that spirit said, no one has a right to hold you accountable and call the kettle black. You said, okay, <laughs> I'm ready for this new beginning. This is frapping happening. It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. You're going to be smiling like crazy. Getting it all, having it all, right? You got the passion. You got the emotional stability, spirituality, spirit, of course. The moon could be very much Libra moon here as all, as the sun. We also have, it is, it's the sun and moon, but I don't know about rising, but I would think that yes, because of all of this, it is all encompassing. We have spirit, emotions, passion, financial abundance, a new life, a new direction, everything is starting over in love. I think, honestly, you guys, I think it's love and money. I think you're starting new. Honestly, I think you're starting new in every facet of your life to make you the greatest happiness, to bring in this beautiful strength. And it balances you out. Why? Because it is, hold on, it's not a person, I'm trying to, I'm trying to gain, I'm trying to gain, gauge that for you to understand. This is about love. Okay, Let, that's why I wanted to make sure. The balance is having it all in one person, but you are whole, so that's what you've attracted. Do you understand? Balancing out love. Commitment, happiness, and financial abundance. And in the middle, Sorry, I'm playing with these cards. It's like, it is. It's a fan thing. You got to fan them out. And in the middle is the balance. Through your strength and courage, you are receiving the blessings of all of this. They're all going to fall. <laughs> And, and it's beautiful. Okay. It looks like this person too. I'm just going to say it because I see it. This person got out of a similar situation that you have. I'm just going to say it's the same thing. Like attracts like. Because see the fire here? The depiction? It looks like here. So this person got out just like you did. Of the same kind of thing. And that could be, gonna. it, it will probably set the course of conversation. Look, at I can fan them like this and then turn around. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. It's perfect. All right. One card for Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1. It had to destruct for it to be rebuilt. Your life had to, your life as you knew it, as you've known it, had to destruct. How you handle, how you believe, 
how you set your boundaries. Let's do it. Three, always three, right? One more. Oh my gosh, not that many. Just one more for Libra. Divine counterpart, playfulness, intuition, after setting boundaries, after destruction, same thing as the reading here. A new beginning of someone who is like-minded. You're definitely two souls who soul counterparts, right? Look. Two souls, two souls, looking at one another and saying, oh my God. After someone had to go through the destruction, endings, and setting your boundaries and speaking up for yourself, which goes here, bam, we get exactly what it is that we need, want, and deserve. Have a great month. I send you much love and blessings. If you need a reading, shoot me a text. Bye.